Can we talk about it real quick, D? Before we say anything. Just one sec, Pete. Yeah. <sighs> this would happen. I did. I did. This is fucking happen. He used to be a fucking pillar of strength. Now he's fucking gotten old and rusted and it's about to fucking fall over and the roof is about to collapse on all of us. Might as well replace it before the roof falls in. Pez cannot function without Cleo. Pez cannot be with Cleo if he's a Bondi boy. So if we let him, right, go and hang out with Cleo, then he gets to function. But then we have Cleo and Vespucci, which is what none of us wants, right? But then, if we if we fucking let him hang out, if we don't let him hang out with Cleo, then he's just gonna go hang out with Cleo more anyways, away from the club. So either way, it's a double-edged sword. We fuck ourselves with Cleo and Vespucci, or we lose Pez. And here's the thing, man. I'm kind of looking for a replacement on Pez. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna tell the truth. Because this man, nothing but a fucking liability. Well then, <laughs> I mean, then why, you why have your I answer. Fix something. Why would I want to fix something when I find out I'm going to be replaced? Because being Bondi is not by showing it, it's a mentality. Didn't you tell me that once? Yeah. Yeah. When I wasn't in a replaceable position. Right, and right now you're not being very fucking why, Bondi. Why do I 